welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a schnauzer on the Rainbow Loom. I used Rainbow Loom dark gray and a lighter shade of gray. And he has a little beard and a cute little nose. And I actually made some eyebrows for him. It's an extra detail. If, at the end of the tutorial, if you do like him without the eyebrows, you don't have to add it. I add it at the end. And I think he came out really cute. And I really love this design. I also made him in a white shade, just all white, and he came out really cute, and they also come in black. So he looks really nice in white, and it's just one single color, and if you don't want to do shades, you can do an all gray schnauzer with the rainbow loom. He came out cute too. I used bands for this one's eyes, and these two I used e-beads. I highly recommend them. They came out really nice and I like how it shines on the the fur of the dog and it's really nice. So it's a single loom and you can use whatever colors you'd like. In this tutorial I will be making this one because I really like the shading of it and if you want to make a solid color one just use a solid color. You can use any kind of colors you like and also you need a couple bands for the um, hair on the beard. We do that at the end and we do this at the end too. So let's get started. It's going to be a single loom staggered position. And one more thing, if you are doing the dark gray rainbow loom color, it is a thinner band. So it will look a little bit smaller than another band that you're using that's a little thicker. I just think that this is a little thinner band so it's going to be a little bit smaller when you're done with him. So I'm going to use the dark gray and I'm going to use light gray. So we're going to do dark gray first and you can use whatever color you like to. And it's going to be a triple band. The top of the head it's going to be a little triple because it makes the head more square. So three bands right here to right here. And I'm going to take this tutorial slow, as slow as I can because when we make the beard and everything it's going to be um, just the facial bands. It's going to be a little bit more, not complicated, but more a little structural, uh, more detailed than the other dogs. Okay, then we're going to do another triple band right here. Then we're going to do another triple band right here. And then finally one more triple band right here. That's going to make the head more square. Okay, make sure they're straight. Now we're doing doubles. So I need a double connecting this pin to this pin. Then we need a double band right here connecting this pin to this pin. And the rest are, are just doubles. So we're going to connect this pin to this pin. Then we're going to go down on an angle, connecting this one to this one, and then we're going to work on this side of the face. Okay, we're leaving a space here because that's where we're going to put the banding for the beard. Okay. So we're leaving a space open here. So don't put any bands here because we're going to work with that at the end. Now we're going to do a triple band for the neck. So three bands right here connecting this one to this one. Okay, now we're going to make the length of the body, which is four stitches long. So we'll do the middle first and then we'll do the sides. And these are all double bands. So there's one, 
two, three, and four. Okay, so now we're going to work on the sides. I'll double again. I'm going to connect this pin to this pin. Okay, and we're just working down the body, putting the doubles. Okay, so now we're going to connect this pin to this pin to close it off. And now we're going to do the same on the left side. Okay, another double. And then we're going to connect this pin to this pin. Okay, so now we're going to make the tail, which is on the loom. I made it very short because they're a little docked, the tail. So it's only three stitches. I think it's a really good length for that. So it's going to be the tail color that you want. I'm doing the dark gray. Wrap it on the hook three times. So one, two, three. And then we're just going to do three stitches of double. Okay, and place it on, back on the hook so it looks like that. So that's one, two, back on the hook, and three. Okay, this is going to be your capping band, which is right here. Okay, so now we're going to work on the legs, and in, if you're using two different colors like this one, I'm going to place the darker shade on the top and then work lighter on the bottom. If you're using one color, then use all one color. We're going to make the front legs first and then the hind legs. So I'm going to use my dark gray, and it's going to be four bands. I used three bands on a different dog and it just didn't look right, so I really like it with a thicker band. So four right here, and we're going to place it right here on this pin. Okay, so now I'm going to use the lighter shade, and I'm using double. So this is four, and then we're going to go double. I'm going to place it from this pin to this pin push it down, then from this pin to this pin, because it's wide, it's going to flare out, then this pin to this pin, then we're going to grab, put this pin to this pin over here, okay, then we're going to grab, do another double from this pin to this pin, and then we're going to connect it right here. Okay, so it should be one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's equaled out. Now we're going to grab a double, and we're going to wrap it around this pin twice. That's your little capping band. And it's going to keep the bottom of the leg flared. So one, and two. And that's it. Very easy. Now we're going to take two of the same lighter shade, twist it, and just place it right here. So I'll even do it on the loom. So you're going to do one, and then twist it, and place it back. So it's a single twist. Okay, we're going to connect these two pins now. So take a single, twist it, just like this. And we're going to just place it right there. Okay, and then we're going to
going to start looming this and we are grabbing this one first and push these down. Bring it onto this pin. Now we're going to grab this one and we're going forward. So loom the right side and now we're going to loom the left side. And keep moving forward. Now here's my quadruple band. Okay, and that is one lick. Now I'm going to take this off. And we're going to stretch it out. Make sure it's even. And then you can separate these two on the bottom too. So it's more flat like that. And then we're going to place it right here. That's your front leg. And we're placing the dark gray. Okay, so that's one leg. Now we're going to do the another front leg. And we're going to do a quadruple. So four. And now we're going to the lighter shade, double. We're into the doubles. And then we're going to connect this pin to this pin. Going this pin to this pin. And then this pin to this pin. And then we'll go two more. From here to here, and then we're finally going to do the last to connect it to the capping band. Take two, and you can just do wrap it twice around. Here's one and two. Now we're going to do the singles single, twist on itself, and place it right here. Single, twist upon itself, place right here. Now we're going to loom. I'm grabbing this guy first. Keep that capping band on there. And loom forward. Okay, so we have the right side done. Now we're going to the left. Now that quadruple band. Okay, and it should look like that. So now I'm going to grab that quad off. Make sure it's straight. Make the bottom flat a little bit. And place it on this pin. Okay, move it to the side. Now we're going to make the hind legs. Hind legs are a little bit different. It's stretched on two pin bars instead of one, but it's the same lighter shade. Okay, so let's get started on that. Okay, so I'm going to grab a double of the dark gray and I'm going to place it right here. So this is a double and then we're going to do another double of the dark gray. I'm going to move that tail out of the way. And place it right here. And then we're going to do the lighter shade. Three stitches of doubles. Just like the uh, 
front legs. So one here, one here. Do another double there. Another on this side. And we're at the end. I'll pull that up a little bit. And then we're going to connect this pin to this pin. We're going to have the same capping band. It's going to be a double wrapped twice around. One, two, and then I'm going to do the connecting bands, structural bands, single twist, and we're going to place it this way. Connecting this pin to this pin, single twist, connecting these two pins, and then finally another single twist. These are the lighter shade. Okay, so this is what it should look like. This is the back legs. I dropped my hook. Okay, we're going to grab this one right here. I just love this design so much. It's like really cool. Okay, we're going to go underneath this capping band and I'm going to grab this band. one. My other one's hiding, so I'm going to grab that one. Okay, I'm going to loom this straight up. So I'm going to push that down. Okay, now I'm going to loom the left side. And then we'll grab that gray. So I loomed all the way up. Now I'm going to take it off the hook holding the gray and I'm going to place it on this pin and this pin, the two grays. So push these down. There's one and two. Stretch that out, make the bottom a little flat. And then we'll place it on this pin and this pin. So here's my first. And my second. Okay, that's the hind leg. I'm going to repeat the same thing right here. So you will need a double of the darker color. And then another double. And now we're going to go to the lighter shade. And work down. Okay, one more. Okay, and then we're at the bottom of the leg. Okay, so it's working all the way down. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to take a double and wrap it twice around the bottom. One, two. Take a single twist and place it on these two pins. Single twist and single twist. Okay, now we can loom. I'm grabbing this one first. All the way down. I just want to make sure.
sure that I have all the right bands. Okay, I'm going to loom forward. side. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. So make sure yours looks like that. And then we can take it off. I'm going to place it on this pin and that pin. Stretch it out. Make sure the bottom is flat. Here's one gray, and here's number two. Okay, so that's what that should look like. Now we're going to work on the structural bands for the body. I'm going to use the darker shade, single, and make a triangle. Darker shade, single, triangle, and another triangle, single. Now, I'm going to work on the ears now, and then the eyes, and then the beard section. So ears, I really like the shading. I like the lighter shade on the top, just counteracts with everything. You can do whatever you'd like for your ears. So I'm going to do a double of the lighter shade, so two, put it on the hook three times. So one, two, three. Then I'm going to take another double and then place this on the double. Then I'm going to place this back on the hook, separate these out a little bit, so it's three just like that. Then I'm going to take a single, twist it upon itself, place it on the hook, we'll slide that ear on that single twist, and we'll place it right here. I want him facing up, so the ears are up. And now we're going to make another ear, so a double on the hook three times, then another double, place it on the hook, slide that on here, then back on the hook, separate these a little bit, then another single, twist it upon itself, place that on the hook, just like this, so it looks like that. And we're just going to place that right here. And we're going straight up for that ear. Okay, the eyes. I really like how uh, the E beads look, or small pony beads. They've really come out really nice. And also, I didn't make any brows for eyebrows for this one, so you can see what it looks like with or without eyebrows. So. I don't want to use the e-beads because some people don't have the e-beads or small pony beads, so I'm going to use bands. So I'm going to use two black bands and then one dark gray. So place it on my hook, make a figure eight, just like that, and then wrap it around again. So that's one eye, or you can just wrap it around four times. I'm going to do this little figure eight and then wrap it around again. Then we'll take the dark gray and place the eyes on the dark gray. Then I'm going to place it on these two pins. Okay, bring it over, place it back on this pin. 
So we're going to do one, two, it's the second pin, or the eyes. Okay, we'll put them in the middle. Then we're going to take a single of the dark gray, and it's going to be a little structural band. I'm going to just place it right here. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make the muzzle. And it comes out a little bit with the brown with the black nose, and we're going to do the hair later, but right now it's going to just look like this. Okay, and pay close attention to this because I'm doing it on the hook. And it's a very different technique that I'm making. So just pay close attention and I'm going to take it slow. Okay, we're going to take a single band, black. This is your nose. Place it on the hook. Wrap four times. So one, two, three, four. Now, I'm going to make this the lighter shade. So I need six bands. Make them all around the same shape. Okay, so if you have one big and one small, because sometimes they're irregular in the package, try to make them all around the same shape. So I have one, two, three, four, six. I want to place them on the hook and dangle them a little bit. I mean, he ran away. Dangle it a little bit so that they're all the same length. I don't want one that's wide and one that's long, like I'll show you right now. These two are the same length, and I don't want one that's like that. So like this one's wide and then this is long. I want them all long. Okay, so because this is the beard part, so we want it like the same um, length on each side. So I'm going to dangle these. I'm going to place my finger right through and make sure it's flat like this. Then I'm going to place this in the middle of the gray. So we can slide the black. And if you think that four times around for the nose is a little too tight, you can also make it three times around. It's okay. So then we're going to place it in the middle, and I'm going to move that nose in the middle. So now it looks like a little bow tie. Make sure it's equal on each side so the nose is in the middle. Take your time with this. Now I'm going to grab the top two bands. I'm going to place my hook down. Top two bands and pull and make sure that these are the top two bands and you're not pulling anything else and make sure it's the top two and it's one, it's the two bands because you could be pulling it and then everything falls off so I definitely want it like that make sure it's the top two then we're going to place our hook right through these four bands on the bottom Okay, make sure it's straight. Okay, so it looks like this. So make sure all the bands on the bottom are through the hook. Now we can let go. And we're going to grab two more of the lighter shade. And we're going to place it on the hook. And then pull the beard through. Just like that. So you can see it looks like this. Then we're going to place this band on these two pins. So one here and one here. We're almost done. Okay, so now the bridge of the nose. I'm going to grab these two bands and I'm going to put it on this pin. Now it's going to be a little crisscross shape. I'm going to try to make a crisscross so it looks like this. So it's a little crisscross here, crisscross here, and then a little wider. 
So I'm just going to take two bands, one on each side, make sure it's the same band. You can either put them like this, like that, and there'll be a big crisscross, but I actually want to make like a little one. It's a little bit more detailed. Sorry, I'm all about the detail with this dog. So, this is my band right here. Okay, I want to show you closer so you can see this. I have the two bands and there's one on top of each other and I'm going to grab the top band and place it on this pin then I'm going to take the other top band which is the same band place that on the pin so I have one band on that pin already then I'm going to grab this left one and place it on the pin and then I'm going to grab this right one and place it on the pin. Okay, so now we have that on there. So basically I just had the two pins, I mean the two bands and I placed them on top. I can redo that too if you want. Let me just redo it. You can fast forward this too if you want because I just want to make sure you get this right. If you didn't get it the first time. So I got two bands right here. I want to make sure I have my one band. I'm going to place one band on the nose. Then the other side, like that. Now I'm going to grab this one and place that on the nose, on that pin. And then I'm going to grab that one. So that is your bridge. Now I'm going to separate the beard. And now you can see we have this double band right here. Place your hook right underneath that double band so it looks like that. Then you're going to take another double of your beard color. Double, make sure the bands are straight like I told you before. Put it on the hook. Go underneath. Pull it up. I'm going to do that so I'm going to try to do it slowly. Grab it. Go underneath. Place this now on this pin, your end. Bring it over and place it on this pin. This is your little mouth area. Okay? So I took a double, went underneath, and it was I did not include any of these dark grays or anything, just underneath this double, brought it through and put them on this pin. Okay, I'll show you that one too again. I just want to make sure everything's right with this so you guys can loom it and it comes out perfect. So I'm going to go take my hook, go underneath this one right here, the double. Then I'm going to take my, put it on the hook, pull it through, place it on here, the end, bring it down, just like that. Okay, and that is my beard, and at the end, we're going to add some, you need a scissor also to cut these bands to make that. Okay, so this is your layout. Make sure it looks like this, and now we can start looping. Okay, so I'm going to pull that tail back. Make sure your loom looks like this with all the bands. Triple, 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 triple. I 
everything's double and the beard looks like this and these are on here this one's on here and we can start and with these structural bands and this guy too so we're going to grab this one first it's on the top and from this pin to here now we're going to grab this one And now we're going to loom the middle. And all the way to the neck area. So we loom to this one, this one, and all the way up. Now we're going to do the side. And I'm only grabbing the bottom bands. Okay? Just this bottom band. I'm not touching anything here. all the way down, grab that bottom, bring it up, all the way down, and keep moving forward. Now I'm going to grab this one, okay, now I'm going to go on this side, and remember, only the bottom. Now I'm going to grab this shoulder one, to the middle. I want to make sure all my bands are straight and pretty, so if it's tangled, just make it straight. Now we're going to grab this thick triple band. Okay, and bring it forward. Now, this part is actually not that bad. It's not hard to loom this area. I'm only grabbing these gray bands. I'm not touching this. I'm not touching this. So my top band is this one on the left. So I'm going to go underneath this gray, the light gray. Grab the left band, which is this guy. Put it on that left pin. Looks beautiful. Now we're going to grab this one all the way at the bottom. Bring it to the side. Now we can, we're not touching this. We're grabbing this dark gray band right here. Go underneath this. Grab that dark gray. And loom that forward. Now I'm going to do it on the side of the head on the right. Just looming the dark gray on the bottom. Now this is a triple, so it's thick. Okay, I'm going to grab this one underneath the ears. Okay, now I'm going to grab this side, here's my triple, and we're going to grab this guy, okay, this is what he should look like, you can bring this up, out a little bit so when you take it off the moon it doesn't pull this is what he looks like there's supposed to be a big hole here so we can fit the beard behind it when we take it off the loom and we're going to need a double of the dark gray or whatever color you use on the top I'm going to make a slip knot Make sure my bands are straight. Then I'm going to make a slip knot. 
I'm going to slowly take it off the loom, starting at the bottom. Okay, now the neck. Now this part, take it off slowly. don't need the loom anymore. Now we're going to go into detail and have fun with this. Put your finger behind the head, pop his face out, bring out the nose area and the snout, and you can see the crisscross on the bands right here. Now he doesn't look like this yet. We're going to make transform this guy into this. So please pay close, close, close attention to what I'm going to be doing right now. So you're going to stretch his body out. Make sure he's flat. Stretch the legs. Stretch the legs. And I'm going to first start with his face, how to make this better. And what you want to do, we have four bands right here on this gray part. So you can see this hole, the connecting band, it's right here. We're going to place our hook right through these four bands on the right side, then the four bands on the left side, and we're going to put our finger right here and just tug. And it's going to bring it down and out. And this is the start of the beard. Bring it down and out. And you can see the beard starting to his shape. Push it in a little bit. Bring that beard down. You can make it more straight. So it's more centered. And then we have this white band right here that we had, remember with the we we put the white, the double, the double right here. You can place your hook right through that lighter shade down here and pull. This is the other part of the beard. Pull it lightly, and you have a little beard here. Push in the bands, and there's going to be like a little hole here. We're going to stuff some bands in here to make this. So we're going to straighten this out. We have the little crisscross nose right here. Push this in. The ears, I really like to just keep them like this. I separate the three bands on the top. I like them straight up. Here's that. If you want them not to be straight up, you can actually pull this and hold that single twist that we had before and just give a little tug on this double and the ear can go forward and it looks a little bit different. So the ear can go forward a little bit so it'll look like this instead of straight up. But I like it straight up so I'm just going to keep them straight up. But that's a little tip if you want the ear to come down some of the, the schnauzers come down. Okay, so now I'm going to add the extra bands for the beard later. I'm going to sew this body shut. First I'm going to put my hook. His head is like this right now. So I'm going to place my hook underneath this triple band of the neck. I'm going to lightly tug on it so it comes up and straight. So it looks like this now. I'm going to take a uh, dark gray, and I'm going to sew the body shut so it can be 3D, and if you made the other dogs, it's the same technique. I have a little shoulder band right here, another shoulder band right here. I'm going to place my 
single band right through. Then I'm going to make a slip knot. Pull taut. And now we're going to go to the next band in the in the belly. So it looks like this. Bring that through. Pull taut. And I'm going to go to the next. And then I'm going to bring this guy through. Just sew in that belly shut. And you can stop right there. Or you can go one more band if you like. Pull it through. Now I need my trusty scissor. I'm going to clip the end. And now I'm going to separate this, hold this side, and I'm just going to make a knot. And I'm going to find any band on the belly, put that other band underneath, like that, and then I'm just going to tie a double knot. Okay, so I have my double knot. I'm going to snip off the end so you can hide it. So now he looks more like a dog. And this tail, I want it up, an upright tail. So I'm just going to go on this second band right here and just tug it a little bit so it goes up. Just like that. Oh my god, he's so cute, just like this, too. I'm going to take this and just hide it in the back. You don't have to pull anything because it's all the same color. Just hide it within the um, back of the head on any band. Just tuck it in. Okay, so that's good. My ears are up. My eyes are out. Now I'm going to work on the beard. And I actually have, it depends on how many, how full you want this beard. I put the beard, the bands through different sections of this one to make it more fuller and more 3D. This one, I just put it through that one section. I have eight bands, eight cut bands here. So depending on how full you want the beard and where and anything like that, you can actually just keep them like this too. But I like having that beard because the schnauzer has the beard on him. I'm going to place him right here. I am going to use the lighter shade and I'm going to grab eight bands. Remember you can do as many or as less you want. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to do the same thing as before. I'm going to do four at a time though. I want them all the same length. So just like before, like this is longer, and then you can make it sideways. I want them all facing that way. So they're all the same length, and then once I cut them and place them through, they're all facing down. If you have one that's facing like this way, it's going to be irregular and it's going to pop out. And it's going to be really, really hard to maneuver it, and this is where the detail of this dog comes in. So I'm going to dangle these, make sure they're long, place my finger through, find the middle, I'm going to take my trusty scissor, snip the middle, and now I have it look like this. I'm going to hold the side. Now, right through here, there's a big bunch of the bands up here and a big bunch on the bottom. I'm going to place my hook right through that section. And that's where I showed you before that there's a hole. So there's a little hole right here. If you can see, there's a hole right behind 
this nose, the bridge of the nose, and right on top of the beard. I'm going to place these bands on the hook. I'm just going to pull it right through. This is where the detail of the dog comes in. Some of them will go in, some of them not. I have three that came that went through. One didn't. It's okay. I want them to face down and forward. So we're just building the beard right now. I'm going to do this again. And cut these, make sure that they're straight. try to go through that section. And I'm going to pull these bands through. Okay, I have one more that didn't go through. And I want them facing down. So now he looks like a cat because it's going sideways the back. So we just move them down, play with it, move the bands down, down and forward. This one I don't like, so I'm going to redo these. Make sure they're all around the same length. And just play with it. Go behind, grab the bands, pull them through. Now this is the fun part and you're just going to move them all down. Take your time with this one. Now I have this band up and this band up, so I'm just going to twist it and bring it down. And just twist them, move them around so that they're all in the same direction. Pull it down and push that nose into the bridge. Now you can keep it like this. You can also fix this a little bit. This little area over here. Make sure it's all the same. Now if you like it with the 8 coming forward, you can keep it with the 8. If you want to make him a more fuller beard, you can add those cut bands anywhere you like on that face. Oh, but he's coming out so cute. So I have this one up. I just want to move him a little bit. I'll take it out. If they're not working for you, you can always just take that band out and reassert it. Reinsert. Okay, so we bent, going down, and that is the beginning of your snazzer. So, if you want to keep it like this, this is eight, this is eight. This one has a little bit more, and I actually placed some in the front, and some in the big hole in the back. But I placed some in the front of him too. So if you want to make him fuller, you can place more in this hole that we have here. It can fit a lot of bands. You can also cut some bands and place it through this part and it'll come down more. Let's do that right now and see how that looks. I told you before I wanted to take this slow. <laughs> so I just want to make it perfect. I'm extremely detail oriented with this dog. So I'm going to Take another four or have ever you want. I'm going to cut that. I'll 
I'll take two and I'm just going to place it in this little crisscross section. If you want to fast forward this to the eyebrow section, you can too, if you're already done with your beard. Or just stay for another minute. Okay, so I put two extra right there, and he's coming out really cute. I'm going to place two more. Just make it more fuller. So, it's your schnauzer. You make it as big a beard or as little beard as you want. Here's my other one. I'm going to fix him, bring it down. And this is what he looks like with that. I think he looks better. He's so cute. You can push this down a little bit to make it more longer, pull it out a little bit. And he has a beautiful beard. Now, if you like your schnauzer like this, you can stop right there. And also you can trim this up too. If you don't like the length, you can just use your scissor and trim off the edges and make it the, give him a little haircut, whatever you'd like. Now, I have my beard now. He's the hairy one, this one has less. Some of the dogs have the eyebrows coming out. So I'm gonna show you really quickly how to make the little hair protrusions for the eyebrows. And if you want to just keep it like this, you can keep it like that, and you're all done. So let's start. I'm going to make, need four of the light color bands. I'm going to use two per eyebrow. Once again, I want them the same length. I'm going to go underneath, and I'm just going to grab any band, any single band in above the eye, any single band above the eye as an anchor. So first I'm going to put my hook right in the back of the eye and let me take that off. Okay, I'm going to go behind the eye and then there's these bands on here on the top. I'm going to go right through one of them. That's my band, my anchor right now. You can see it underneath. I'm going to take my bands, pull it through so it looks like this. Then I'm going to take my hook, keep your finger right here. I'm going to go back underneath that dark brown anchor band. Now I'm going right underneath it. You can see that? Okay, I'm going to first, I just want to show you the anchor band. Now I'm going to keep it like this. Now I have the anchor band right here. I'm going to take my hook, go underneath it. Grab those two bands that I just pulled through. I'm going to pull it through the front underneath that band. So here's my anchor band. You can see it right there. And this is any band that's on the top. So this is one eyebrow for starting. I want to push this little anchor band back a little bit. I'm going to take my hook and bring it back into that mix of bands. Tug it a little bit. Now I have four little bands coming out. You're going to give him a haircut and you're going to snip. My anchor band came out again. So snip snip. Take my hook. My anchor band came out again. 
hide it inside, just pull it a little bit. So it's in the back, in the mesh. Okay, so I have the anchor, I cut the bands, I pulled it back. Now he's got a hairy eyebrow. And to make him like this, this is how the big detail comes into this piece. Pull that ear back up, you can just snip and give him a little haircut. Make sure you don't snip the body. Okay, now he has a little hair, a little eyebrow. You can move the bands around. If you want to make it less, you can make it less, you can make it longer, however you want. If you don't want this eyebrow, you don't have to have it. So I'm going to make one more. And another way to do this too is just cut this in half and then you can just sew it, you know, by, by stitch it by hand. But I'm going to go right above the eye right there. Make sure these are lengthy. Put it right through. Then I'm going to go underneath again. Find any little band that I want as my anchor. So I'll just grab this one. Right there. I'm going to grab the other end of the lighter shape and I'm just going to pull it through. Okay, so I have one anchored. One of them got anchored, the other one didn't. So now I'm going to... I'm glad this happened because this is the only tricky part of the dog other than the beard. So I'm going to place my hook right underneath there and just pull it through. This is even easier. Okay, so now it looks like he has a bow. <laughs> I'm going to put my hook right through again and bring that anchor back in and pull it taut, just like that. And pull these eyebrows out. And now I'm going to snip the ends. Remember just to snip the eyebrows. And then I'm going to make this one. I'm going to trim him up a little bit to look like the other side. Bring that up. And be careful not to cut yourself or anything with the scissor, please. Okay, and he has some eyebrows coming out. I'm going to bring that ear up. I love the ears coming up. And remember, if you want ears coming down, you can do that too. He has a full beard. And we did it. So you can keep on, make sure if you want to pose him, make sure, you know, just move the beard, the beard around. Bring him down, and he does stand. And he came out super cute and beautiful. So I hope you liked this tutorial. I'm so glad you stayed to the end and made the dog. And I really hope you like the detail of him. And please come back. I'll be making some more breeds. Okay. Bye. Please subscribe. Bye-bye. Then we're going to grab, put this pin to this pin over here. Okay, then we're going to grab, do another double from this pin to this pin, and then we're going to connect it right here. Okay, so it should be one, two, three. One, two, three. So it's equaled out. Now we're going to grab a double and we're going to wrap it around this pin twice. That's your little capping band. And it's going to keep the bottom of the leg flared. So one and two. And that's it. Very easy. 
Now we're going to take two of the same lighter shade, twist it, and just place it right here. So I'll even do it on the loom. So you're going to do one and then twist it and then place it back. So it's a single twist. Okay, we're going to connect these two pins now. So take a single, twist it, just like this. And we're going to just place it right there. Okay? And then we're going to start looming this. And we are grabbing this one first and push these down. Bring it onto this pin. Now we're going to grab this one and we're going forward. So loom the right side and now we're going to loom the left side. And keep moving forward. Now here's my quadruple band. Okay, and that is one lick. Now I'm going to take this off. And we're going to stretch it out. Make sure it's even. And then you can separate these two on the bottom too. So it's more flat like that. And then we're going to place it right here. That's your front leg. And we're placing the dark gray. Okay, so that's one leg. Now we're going to do the another front leg. And we're going to do a quadruple. So four. And now we're going to the lighter shade, double. We're into the doubles. And then we're going to connect this pin to this pin. Going this pin to this pin. And then this pin to this pin. And then we'll go two more. From here to here, and then we're finally going to do the last to connect it to the capping band. Take two, and you can just do wrap it twice around. Here's one. Hello, welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a schnauzer on the Rainbow Loom. I used Rainbow Loom dark gray and a lighter shade of gray. And he has a little beard and a cute little nose. And I actually made some eyebrows for him. It's an extra detail. If, at the end of the tutorial, if you do like him without the eyebrows, you don't have to add it. I add it at the end. And I think he came out really cute, and I really love this design. I also made him in a white shade, just all white, and he came out really cute. And they also come in black, so he looks really nice and white, and it's just one single color. And if you don't want to do shades, you can do an all gray schnauzer with the rainbow loom. He came out cute, too. I used bands for this one's eyes, and these two I used e-beads, I highly recommend them. They came out really nice, and I like how it shines on the, the fur of the dog, and it's really nice. So it's a single loom, and you can use whatever colors you'd like. In this tutorial, I will be making this one because I really like the shading of it. And if you want to make a solid color one, just use a solid color. You can use any kind of colors you like. And also, you need a couple bands for the 
um, hair on the beard. We do that at the end, and we do this at the end too. So let's get started. It's going to be a single loom, staggered position. And one more thing, if you are doing the dark gray rainbow loom color, it is a thinner band. So it will look a little bit smaller than another band that you're using that's a little thicker. I just think that this is a little thinner band, so it's going to be a little bit smaller when you're done with him. So I'm going to use the dark gray, and I'm going to use light gray. So we're going to do dark gray first, and you can use whatever color you like to. And it's going to be a triple band. The top of the head, it's going to be a little triple because it makes the head more square. So three bands right here to right here. I'm going to take this tutorial slow, as slow as I can because when we make the beard and everything, it's going to be um, just the facial bands. It's going to be a little bit more, not complicated, but more a little structural, um, more detailed than the other dogs. Okay, then we're going to do another triple band right here. Then we're going to do another triple band right here. And then finally one more triple band right here. That's going to make the head more square. Okay, make sure they're straight. Now we're doing doubles. So I need a double connecting this pin to this pin. Then we need a double band right here, connecting this pin to this pin. And the rest are, are just doubles. So we're going to connect this pin to this pin. Then we're going to go down on an angle, connecting this one to this one. And then we're going to work on this side of the face. Okay, I'm going to loom this straight up. So I'm going to push that down. Okay, now we're going to loom the left side. And then we'll wrap that gray. So I loomed all the way up. Now I'm going to take it off the hook holding the gray and I'm going to place it on this pin and this pin, the two grays. So push these down. There's one and two. Stretch that out, make the bottom a little flat. And then we'll place it on this pin and this pin. So here's my first. And my second. Okay, that's the hind leg. I'm going to repeat the same thing right here. So you will need a double of the darker color. And then another double. And now we're going to go to the lighter shade. And work down. Okay, one more. Okay, and then we're at the bottom of the leg. Okay, so it's working all the way down. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Then you're going to take a double and wrap it twice around the bottom. One, two. Take a single twist and place it on these two pins. Single twist and single twist. Okay, now we can loom. I'm grabbing this one first. All the way down. I just want to make sure that I have all the right bands. forward okay now I'm going to do the left side So this is what it's going to look like. So make sure yours looks like that. And then we can take it off. I'm going to place it on this pin and that pin. Stretch it out. Make sure the bottom is flat. One and two. Now we're going to do the singles single, twist on itself, and place it right here, single, twist upon itself, place right here. Now we're going to loom. I'm grabbing this guy first. Keep that capping band on there. And loom forward. Okay, so we have the right side done. Now we're going to the left. Now that quadruple band. Okay, and it should look like that. So now I'm going to grab that quad off. Make sure it's straight. Make the bottom flat a little bit. And place it on this pin. Okay, move it to the side. Now we're going to make the hind legs. Hind legs are a little bit different. It's stretched on two pin bars instead of one, but it's the same lighter shade. Okay, so let's get started on that. Okay, so I'm going to grab a double of the dark gray and I'm going to place it right here. So this is a double and then we're going to do another double of the dark gray. I'm going to move that tail out of the way. And place it right here. And then we're going to do the lighter shade. Three stitches of doubles. Just like the uh, front legs. So one here, one here. Do another double there. Another on this side. And we're at the end. I'll pull that up a little bit. And then we're going to connect this pin to this pin. We're going to have the same capping band. It's going to be a double wrapped twice around. One, two, and then 
I'm going to do the connecting bands, structural bands, single twist, and we're going to place it this way. So connecting this pin to this pin, single twist, connecting these two pins, and then finally another single twist. These are the lighter shade. Okay, so this is what it should look like. This is the back let. I dropped my hook. Okay, we're going to grab this one right here. I just love this design so much. It's like really cool. Okay, we're going to go underneath this capping band and I'm going to grab this band. one. My other one's hiding, so I'm going to grab that one. Okay, we're leaving a space here, because that's where we're going to put the banding for the beard. Okay, so we're leaving a space open here, so don't put any bands here, because we're going to work with that at the end. Now we're going to do a triple band for the neck. So three bands right here, connecting this one to this one. Okay, now we're going to make the length of the body, which is four stitches long. So we'll do the middle first, and then we'll do the sides. And these are all double bands. So there's one, two, three, and four. Okay, so now we're going to work on the sides. All double again. And we're going to connect this pin to this pin. Okay, and we're just working down the body, putting the doubles. Okay, so now we're going to connect this pin to this pin. To close it off. And now we're going to do the same on the left side. Okay, another double. And then we're going to connect this pin to this pin. Okay, so now we're going to make the tail, which is on the loom. I made it very short because they're a little docked, the tail. So it's only three stitches. I think it's a really good length for that. So it's going to be the tail color that you want. I'm doing the dark gray. Wrap it on the hook three times. So one, two, three three, and then we're just going to do three stitches of double. Okay, and place it on, back on the hook so it looks like that. So that's one, two, back on the hook, and three. Okay, this is going to be your capping band, which is right here. Okay, so now we're going to work on the legs, and in, if you're using two different colors like this one, I'm going to place the darker shade on the top and then work lighter on the bottom. If you're using one color, then use all one color. We're going to make the front legs first and then the hind legs. So I'm going to use my dark gray, and it's going to be four bands. I used three bands on a different dog and it just didn't look right, so I really like it with a thicker band. So four right here, and we're going to place it right here on this pin. Okay, so now I'm going to use the lighter shade, and I'm using double. 
So this is four, and then we're going to go double. I'm going to place it from this pin to this pin, push it down, then from this pin to this pin, because it's wide, it's going to flare out. Then this pin to this pin, 